happy. I have no idea what day of the week it is. Thursday, everybody. We are at where? Epcot. Epcot. Look, we're wearing all of our Epcot clothing. So many Epcot clothes. <laughs> we have reservations with a friend of mine from high school to eat at Nine Dragons, which we've never done before. And honestly, 100% honest with you guys, don't like Chinese food. But and guess what I had for dinner last night? Chinese food? Chinese food. <laughs> but I love Chinese food, so I'll eat it like all day. I don't care. Right. So, me on the other hand, I don't like it. So, we'll see. You guys will get the true story as to whether or not. I guess you'll get the wrong story. You'll listen to Jen. Because no matter what, I'm probably going to be like, yeah, it's not good. Yay! Well, this is kind of interesting because there's these like big potted things that are like towers. But some of the stuff is edible. I don't know that I would eat it. It's probably got pesticides and stuff on it, but. Well, I, I ate a piece of mint last time we were here. Off of a tree? I pulled a piece off, yeah. Oh. Well, you didn't die, so that's a good thing. So eat all the mint. Just passing through the Japan Pavilion, and I thought that they stopped selling anything that resembled a weapon. It's pretty interesting. Right across from the Africa area is a Jungle Book sandcastle. Looks pretty awesome. Also, fun fact, Baloo is played by Bill Murray. King Louie is played by Christopher Walken. It's gonna be a pretty fun movie. We're heading into the China Pavilion because we are going to Nine Dragons for dinner. Never been to Nine Dragons. Pretty excited to try it. Oh, look at that. There we are, into China. One thing that we hardly ever do is we don't go back into the very back of the pavilions, which we should do more because they're very nice back here. Look at that Disney bird. Look at this uh, like jade roof line that they've got going on back here. It's pretty nice. Look at that, the drawbridge is up right now. I don't know if you guys can see it very well, but that thing right there is the drawbridge. They bring it up to uh, bring the floats out for illuminations. This restaurant's actually kind of big. So what is this? This is the hot and sour soup. And then we also got spring rolls. Vegetable spring rolls. I got my chicken dumpling soup. Both Jen and I got the honey sesame chicken. So yeah, they're, they look exactly the same. So I got some sort of ginger caramel ice cream. I think you want some. Jen got strawberry red bean. Which is basically strawberry vanilla, they said. We're here for our friend's birthday and they gave him a happy birthday card and it says, what did this say up here? It said, wish you, oh, wish you birthday, birthday happy, happy China, China forbidden. Yeah. I don't know why he said forbidden. Oh, I don't know. Forbidden city. It says China forbidden. 2016. It's pretty cool. And now it is pouring out. So, bought a Disney poncho. This will be me for the rest of the night. <laughs> this is Jen. She doesn't well, get a poncho. I have, I have my umbrella. So wait now, is it going to be really crazy driving home? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is exciting. This is like true Disney tourist in and up. Illuminations went off. Even though it's like raining outside. It's not raining too bad. Uh, it should be noted that this poncho was $10, bought it. It is entirely too short for me, like my shorts came out and my shoes are soaking wet, but I have special shoes on. They're waterproof shoes, so coming to Florida, I don't know, maybe think about getting waterproof shoes. Also, it should be noted that it's very difficult to talk in a poncho because it kind of like echoes in your ear. So I feel like I'm talking with headphones on, like I'm talking really loud or like it doesn't sound right to me. I don't know, is it going off? There's like a couple of little bursts there, but you can see wishes way off in the distance. It's pretty awesome. Can you guys see it? Yeah, you have to be able to see it. Can we see anything going on at Epcot? No. In case you guys are wondering, this is what it's like when the ponchos are too short for you. <laughs> Look at illuminations out there. See, we can just watch it from the dry comfort of our car. <laughs> sort of. I wish tonight, I wish a new dreams come true. All your wishes. No, <laughs> you ruined it. You ruined it. <laughs> what the heck? Fairly certain all of the flashes in the sky are not lightning, but rather fireworks. Which is an interesting, oh, right there. Oh, oh. That was lightning. That was lightning? And this a firework. Is, this is crazy. Lightning fireworks. 
but there are some fireworks happening over there. You can sort of see the, the lasers from illuminations a little bit. But up here, and it won't focus on anything because there are so many lights everywhere. That was lightning. Yeah. Driving home in a lightning firework storm. So here, I know it's kind of blurry, but this is what the roads look like when it's been raining. It's kind of hard to see the lines in the road and everything is reflecting onto the road, which makes it really tough to drive in. And it's just a little sprinkle. So, let's have a frank and honest discussion about <laughs> Nine Dragons. Uh, it wasn't good. I didn't like it. So I take that back. It wasn't bad. But, I, well, but I didn't think it was great. Okay, so here's the thing. The way that we judge Disney food mm -hmm. is based on, we don't normally look at price unless. What do you mean? Unless it's something that, like we don't factor price into how the food tasted, unless it's something that is available close by, like a Chinese food, like a Chinese I'll, takeout. I will, I'll factor price in. Oh. Huh. Like there are certain things that I think did this taste as good as I paid? And I would right. say no. The Chinese, so we had Chinese food yesterday for dinner and I had uh, shrimp fried rice, I had crab rangoon, I had enough food for two days and it only cost me $14 for those items. We then went to Nine Dragons and got the like dinner special. So it was a little bit cheaper, it was $25. And we got a soup, yeah. an entree, mm -hmm. and a scoop of ice cream. Mm -hmm. And the soup, I didn't love the soup. I got uh, chicken and dumplings. And I got hot and sour. And it wasn't, I don't know, it was soup. It's like water. Like well, the chicken and water. The, the dumpling one was, it was like not very flavorful. And normally that soup isn't super flavorful. Like the dumpling is what's the most flavorful part. But even that was like a little bit bland, which is fine. I get it. It's a theme park restaurant. They have to cater to like lots of different palates. But then my soup, the hot and sour soup, was so flavorful. I could only eat like three bites of it because it was like like it, it was like assaulting my face. Oh. But it wasn't bad. And it had a lot of cilantro in it, which I like. It was good, but it was just like it, they were so like on opposite ends of the spectrum. It was so weird. Right. So and then for the dinner entree, we got or honey sesame chicken. And we each got that. We we both got to pick an entree, so we both picked the honey sesame chicken. And it wasn't bad, it tasted kind of like sweet and sour chicken tastes. And it was crispy, it was cooked well, but it was so expensive for what it was. Like that honestly would have caught, and for the same flavoring and the same taste and the same quality, that would have cost us six bucks at the mall. Right. Right, like you know what I mean? So that's where I think I just tweeted out how I didn't like Nine Dragons and a lot of people were upset by it. And I think that Maybe because we're factoring in the fact that we could get this exact same dish at our local Chinese restaurant for like six bucks, to pay 25 for it is kind of like, ooh, I don't know. And then the dessert was just kind of like strange flavors. I don't know. After all of the other food, I was like, oh, they'll just give us a scoop of ice cream. And then it was like, here's the weirdest scoop of ice cream we can think of, ginger but <laughs> and caramel. It wasn't. It tastes like actual ginger though. Like if you were yeah. to like bite a piece of ginger and like, that's what it tasted. I thought it right? was gonna be like ginger ale ginger. Like no. candied ginger. It was straight <laughs> up just ginger. It tasted like herbal almost. With like the slightest hint of caramel. But see then, maybe that's some of your guys' palate. Maybe some of you out there are like, that sounds great. And that's one thing that you should definitely remember with our food reviews. Everybody has a different mouth. Everybody's taste buds are different. Everybody's flavor palette is different. So take everything we're saying with like a grain of salt because who knows, like we could be totally off. You know, you guys right. might love it and it's just not our palate, you right. know? So it's okay if you guys love it and we don't love it and it's okay if we love it and you guys don't love it. Like just to give you an idea, we hate curry. That's not our flavor at all. It's, it's definitely not something, like every time I've ever tried curry, it's made me get sick every time. Yeah, and so, so like just... I know a lot of people really <laughs> like curry. Yeah. Not us. All in all, we didn't really think that the quality was there for the price that we paid for something that was available like right down the street for us. So I don't know that we'll be eating at Nine Dragons again, but I am glad that we went and uh, you know, it's a new experience. So. I will see you guys tomorrow, and now it's time to pay the price.